In Revelation chapter 6, Jesus opened six seals to unveil the apocalypse. These six seals cover the same periods as the churches in Revelation chapters 2 and 3. They give a symbolic view of major events and conditions which face the people of God, from the ascension of Jesus to heaven, until he returns to this earth. In prophecy, angels are represented as horsemen. The horsemen are part of the six seals. They depicted the four periods through which God's people must pass, in symbols and word picture. Also, they symbolized, in their color, dress, and activities. The distinct periods God's people must endure, as they progress to the end of this world. The opening of the first seal revealed a white horse. The rider had a bow, wore a crown of gold, and went on conquering. The color of his horse was white, his dress was royal, and his activity was conquests. This seal covers the same period as the church at Ephesus, during the first century. It was the time of the rapid spread of Christianity throughout the world. The rider of the red horse of the second seal had power to take peace from the earth. Red represents destruction. His dress was warlike and he carried a sword, which was the symbol of destruction. He caused the people and nations to engage in bloody battle. Smyrna was the church period that was similar to this era. It was a time of bloody destruction of the people of God between the 2nd, 3rd, and early part of the 4th century. The opening of the third seal brought forward a black horse. Black represents moral darkness, sin, and error. The symbols fit the church during the 4th, 5th, and first half of the 6th century. It was the period of compromise, when millions of unconverted people filled the churches, bringing with them pagan practices. It was symbolic of the Pergamos era of the churches. The rider had a pair of scales. This indicated a scarcity of the word of God. Christ's atoning blood and the Holy Spirit were rejected and lost. The rider of the pale horse of the fourth seal was called death, and hell followed behind him. During this period the Antichrist almost completely wiped out the people of God. It was a period of tribulations the world never experienced before. Thyatira was the church that covered the same period, from the 6th through to the 15th century. This period is known in history as the Dark Ages. When the fifth seal was opened, John saw under the altar those who were killed for the word of God. The blood of the slain believers called out to God for justice. They were given a white robe and told to wait until their brother, who would be killed as they were, joined them. The period covered the Sardis era of the church ages, from the 16th to the midst of the 18th century. Though persecution continued, great men of God organized the Reformation. Shocking events occurred when the sixth seal was opened. There was a great earthquake, the sun became black, the moon became like blood, and the stars fell upon the earth. These monumental events are in fact the forerunners of the second coming of Jesus. Revelation chapter 6, verse 14 to 17, gives an overview of the climatic events as Jesus returns for his people. The sixth seal covered the time period of both the sixth and seventh churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea. These churches ran from the middle of the 18th century until Jesus returns. The Laodicea period was the age of revival. It reaches to the churches today. According to Revelation chapter 7 verse 1 to 3, the people who will be ready for Jesus must receive a seal from the angel from the east. Jesus used the whole of Revelation chapter 7 to explain who will be prepared. Two classes of people are identified. 144,000 souls from the 12 tribes of Israel were sealed. Then John saw a multitude that no man could number of all tribes and people and language and nations standing before the throne. They were clothed in white robes with palm branches in their hands. They came through the great tribulation and were redeemed by the blood of Jesus.